When Samsung releases a new version of its phones or tablets, it usually comes with a new version of its One UI software and a major Android update. And Samsung's current Galaxy S line of high-end smartphones was the first to get big Android OS updates. In reality, this means that the company's One UI 6.0 upgrade, which is built on Android 14 and was made by the company, came out first for the Galaxy S23 series as a beta test. Because One UI 6.0 is a major change to the program, it has a better software design, more ways to make it your own, better performance, and a lot of brand new features. In this video, you can find a full list of all the new and improved features. Everything is explained. Let's start with talking about the Quick Panel. It has a new layout for its buttons, which are as follows. The layout of the fast panel has been changed, making it much easier to get to the most used features. Dark mode and eye comfort shield have been moved to the bottom of the screen, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth now have their own buttons at the top of the screen. In the middle, in an area that can be changed, there are more quick setting buttons. You can now quickly get to all parts of the quick panel. Swiping down from the top of the screen brings up a small fast panel with messages. This is how things usually work. When you swipe down a second time, the alerts go away and the quick panel gets bigger. If you turn on quick access to the quick settings panel, you can swipe from the top right corner of the screen to the left to see the extended quick panel. This action only needs to be done once. If you swipe down from the left side of the screen, you can see the messages. You can also change the brightness of the screen quickly. A new feature makes it easier and faster to change the brightness. When you swipe down once from the top of the screen, the brightness control bar appears instantly in the compact fast panel. You can change how the layout of alerts looks. Since each warning is now on its own card, it's much easier to tell what they are. Sort the alerts by when they were sent. If the app that's playing the music or video has album art, it'll be shown over the whole media menu in the notification panel while the media is playing. Let's now talk about the camera. You can have custom camera widgets. You can add apps that work with your camera to the home screen of your device. You can set each widget to start a different taking mode and save the pictures it takes in a photo album of your choice. There are more alignment options for watermarks. You can now choose whether you want your label to appear at the top or the bottom of your photos. You can have quick access to resolution settings. There's now a size button in the quick settings at the very top of the screen for both the photo and pro modes. This makes it easy for you to change the resolution of the shots you take. There are easier video size options. Now, when you click the button for the video size, a pop-up will appear. This makes it easier to see all of the choices and choose the right ones. Now, keep your pictures level. When you use the back camera in any mode other than panorama and the grid lines option is turned on in the camera settings, a new level line will show up in the middle of the screen. The line will move to show you if your picture is horizontally lined up with the ground or not. You can apply effects more easily. With the move from a slider to a dial for the filter and facial effects, you can now make precise changes with just one hand. Documents can be scanned easily. Since the scan document feature is no longer tied to the scene optimizer, you can now scan documents even if the scene optimizer is turned off on your device. With the new auto scan feature, you can now scan documents automatically whenever you take a picture of them. After you've scanned a document, you'll be taken to the edit screen where you can move and align the document any way you want. It has new auto FPS settings for videos. When there isn't much light, auto FPS can help by letting you record better movies. In auto FPS, you can now choose from three different options. You can turn it off, use it only for movies made at 30 frames per second, or use it for both 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second videos. Gallery. Since the photo album is a very important part, crazy new features are waiting for you. Now saved clipped images as stickers. When you cut out a piece of a picture, you can easily save that piece as a sticker. You can then use that sticker to change photos or movies in the future. It now has an enhanced story view. When you swipe up from the bottom of the screen while looking at a story, a small view will appear. When you look at your story in thumbnail mode, you can choose to add or take away photos and movies. You can drag and drop things with both hands. One hand can be used to touch and hold films and photos, and the other hand can be used to move the album where you want to drop them. In the detail view of a picture or movie, you can make quick changes by swiping up from the bottom of the screen. By clicking this, you'll go to the detail view. This page now gives you quick access to editing effects and features that you can use right away. The new Smart Select is something you're going to love. Now you can resize and extract text from penned content. With the Smart Select feature, you can now change the size of penned content and pull out text from it. For example, you can now change the size of a picture that you have penned to the screen. Have a magnified view. 
When you click on a part of the screen, the screen will magnify exactly where you clicked easily. This will let you start and end your pick right where you want to. Let's talk about modes now. Now you have unique lock screens depending on your mode. Make different versions of your lock screen, each with a different background picture and clock face for things like driving, working, exercising, and so on. When you start changing the lock screen while a mode is running, the lock screen for that mode will be changed when you're done. Coming down to the next segment, settings. The new One UI 6.0 has a smarter aeroplane mode. If you turn on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth while airplane mode is on, your phone will remember your settings for the next time you turn on airplane mode. The next time you turn on airplane mode, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will still work as usual instead of being turned off. Now battery settings have their own top level settings menu. It's easy to check how much battery you're using and change energy settings. This makes it easier to get your device's settings for the battery. You can now block the annoying security threats. Get an extra layer of protection for your files and programs. Autoblocker stops malicious commands from being sent to your phone through a USB cable, checks for malware, and stops unknown programs from being loaded on your device so they can't be installed. Last but not least, let's talk about accessibility. There are new magnification options now. Change how your zoom window looks to meet your needs. You can use the whole screen, a part of the screen, or switch back and forth between the two. You can now make the text easier to read by making the cursor thicker when you're changing text. With this new feature, you can change how thick the cursor is when you're editing text. And that's all guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and we'll see you next time.